mention the word Dieppe to Canadian war veterans, and it evokes deep emotion. On Sunday, it will be 70 years since the doomed raid on the French coast. Within just nine hours, more than 900 Canadian troops were killed, nearly 2,000 were taken prisoner, and hundreds of others were injured. Today, a delegation went back, including seven veterans who were there on that fateful day. Our Mike Armstrong is traveling with them and joins us now from Dieppe. Mike? Well, Donna, the veterans are all in their 90s, but well enough to make this trip. They said they haven't come just to see Dieppe, but to pay their respects to the many friends they lost where they were lost. The delegation includes more than 80 current soldiers, but there's no question the stars of this trip are the veterans. From the welcome at the airport to the greeting at the hotel, there was a gentleman waiting for autographs. He was a young boy during the Nazi occupation and remembers the day the Canadians stormed the beach. He says people talk about D-Day in 44, but they don't talk enough about Dieppe. Some who lived through it call it a massacre. The Nazis were dug in and ready and mowed down hundreds of Canadians. According to new research, the goal was to recover important intelligence. The Allies got nothing. That's where you were shooting? Yeah, right at that green stretch. Fred Engelbrecht recognizes the landscape here and the stones where so many of his friends' blood was spilled. He describes it with one word. Hell. No, couldn't describe it any better. Arthur Russell was with the Essex Scottish Regiment out of Windsor, Ontario. He lost three brothers in the war and almost his own life here. Oh, it, it was hell because they were all on the cliffs, the Germans, and they, they were like shooting pigeons. Will Warden is part of the Cameron Highlanders and will be piping at seven ceremonies over the next few days. Like many of the soldiers, he has a personal tie to Dieppe. His grandfather was here, part of the same regiment, and later spent years as a POW. When everybody talked about the war, for our family, it was Dieppe. And uh, to have the opportunity to come back and you know, walk on the same beach he walked on is, is pretty amazing and uh, very moving. Over the next few days, we're going to be following the delegation to the various ceremonies they'll be attending, including a visit to the Canadian cemetery just outside town. We're also going to look at how the people of Dieppe are remembering the Canadian sacrifice. It's impressive. Donna? Impressive and very moving. Mike Armstrong in Dieppe, thanks. And a new documentary sheds fresh light on Dieppe. And as Mike mentioned, the real reason behind the operation, it's called Dieppe Uncovered. It airs this Sunday at 9 o'clock on History Television.